It's my pleasure to share a few more details on the Digital Academy, our exciting new venture for upskilling and deepening capabilities of officers in public service in the area of ICT and smart systems, or ICT and SS in short. Let me begin with a quote from Alvin Toffler, the noted American writer who famously said that the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. It cannot be more apt for the tech industry. Workforce trends report that the half-life of skills is now about five years, and the need for tech skills refresh averages 18 months. To stay relevant as professionals or collectively as an organization, we need to adopt a mindset of being in constant beta to enable continuous development and growth. This is not an option. Let's understand a little more about the context of establishing the Digital Academy. We saw four big gaps in the current learning ecosystem, particularly for tech professionals in public service. Firstly, public service courses cover only basic awareness and understanding of ICT and smart system skills. There are few courses for advanced skills. Secondly, the ICT and smart system courses at the institutes of higher learning are academic in nature and lack the practitioner outlook and are relatively less application based. Thirdly, those provided by private ICT training providers are in-depth but not contextualized to our environment. Lastly, with more complex ICT and smart system projects that require cross-team collaborations, there is a lack of appreciation and understanding among different domains, tech operations, and tech policy that could affect project outcomes. It was evident that we needed to address these gaps for our talent. There are six key design principles that went into setting up the Digital Academy. One, it is by practitioner for practitioner. Two, to offer blended and applied learning. Three, working with reputable content partners. Four, agile design and delivery of programs. Five, offer team-based learning. And finally, to maximize collaboration within public service. The Digital Academy has a strong in-house program team that's supported by an operations partner, currently NUSISS. We have to date signed memorandum of understandings with AWS, Microsoft, Click, Tableau, Secure Code Warrior, and Singtel Trustwave for content partnerships, and we will continue to bring on others to boost our offerings. The Digital Academy curriculum design has been anchored on ICT and smart system competency framework and guided by the competency gaps identified by ICT and smart system practice leads and agencies' needs through Digital Maturity Index and Ministry Family Digitalization Plan. For a start, we have lined up 55 programs and building a pipeline for another 25, all for year one. The design and launch of courses will be an ongoing exercise with feedback and insights from all of you. Let me leave you with a question to mull over. How ready to learn will you be if you plan to be extraordinary?